back to another video here at Sarah's SoCal Garden. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. So this episode is going to be all about my raised bed collection. And I have several different types of raised beds. I have my ruler here so I can measure as I um, tell you guys about the raised beds because some of them, I'm not even sure how high they actually are. So oh, here comes someone. He wants to... Beck, come here. He's going to say hi to you guys. He's probably looking for something to eat. <laughs> okay, so yes, um, I'm going to be going around my garden, both this cottage garden and then also on the side garden. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys my types of raised beds that I have, what works, what doesn't work. Because um, actually some of these raised beds, I would say half of them, were really given to me for free. Um, I used to belong to a community garden, like I said in another video, and there at the community garden, when the community garden was closing, another plot owner wanted to give away his raised beds. And one of them is right here beside me, This, these square uh, boxes. Um, I believe he built these himself, so they're very, very sturdy. I really, really like these, and I'm just going to go ahead and measure it. Okay. It's a little less than a foot deep. And so yeah, I really like, I really, really um, like these. I have one, two, three, four of these. One, yeah, I have four of these beds. And because I believe he made these himself, I don't think I will be able to find something like this online for you guys. I'll just go ahead and uh, start taking you guys around my garden and showing you all of my raised beds these raised beds that were given to me if you're looking to make something yourself these are great and they're small and they're compact you can tell um, this is one whole bed right here and then it splits so he used four pieces of wood and there's nothing on the bottom of these the thing that I like about these is I like the way that they look the wood is um, aging very very nicely the only thing is that they're really, really deep as compared to this raised bed set that came from Sam's Club. This is my, these are the original two raised beds that we first started out with here at my house. And these are really old. I want to say six years old and they're still going really, really strong. Let me show you guys. So it's this bed and that bed behind it they're the same so I'll leave a link down below for you guys if you want to purchase the same one they still have it available on Sam's, at Sam's Club this bed is really great it is low so my dogs um, are able to jump in it that's why I have like this extra fence in here but uh, around it so they don't jump in it but I think they just jump in it just to sniff around they're not really eating anything so what you do is you just you slip in the slats here on the sides and you do that pretty much for every 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 single corner. So it's super easy to assemble. If you're not good with power tools like me, this is a really great option. All right, so the next type of raised bed that I have are these two standing raised beds. And we purchased these last year. We got them on sale from Sam's Club. I will leave the link down below. They are not currently on sale right now. Um, full price, these are $99 a piece, which is very expensive, I know. I would never pay that much um, for, a, for a raised bed. But we got these on sale last year and they are working out really, really well. Everything that I've planted in these has done great. So the thing about these is, I'll show you this one because it's not covered. The thing about these is it has this little like spout so this means that it probably needs to be watered because when it's fully watered the this little leaf it will it will come up but the soil in here stays wet for a really long time i it just rained as well but i filled both of these up with compost because they're not able to get any nutrition from the regular dirt like these beds. So I made sure to fill these up with compost. 
This is some arugula that I grew from seed. This is some kale I started from seeds, doing really great. And then the water just drips out from the side, that little spout right there. And these also come with um, these little like dividers if you needed to use it. I haven't really found the need to use it. It, it is good knowing like, okay, I put um, parsnips right here, I put arugula right here, and then I put some kale right here. So it's a nice uh, way to kind of divide your crops. And the thing about these is they are really deep, as you can tell, they go all the way down in this soil. You start putting your soil all the way down here in the bottom. I would recommend is um, if you do get this, put a uh, cardboard down at the bottom and put a couple layers of cardboard so it can fill some of that space and then start putting in your compost and your um, raised bed mix. I, I believe that's what we put in here. We put in like a raised, a granic raised bed mix. Okay, so moving along over here, this raised bed is one of those beds that I got for free, like I was talking about earlier, and this is doing great. It fits perfectly back here in the little corner. Uh, right now I have some onions in it. Okay, and so another option if you don't want to purchase raised beds is actually using bags. These are... Uh, breathable bags that are great for growing plants in vegetables flowers I even am growing potatoes in some of them um, over there I have potatoes in a bag so I have kale in here right now as you can tell it's doing fantastic there is not a single pest on these kale which is great and they seem to be like like a uh, being in the bag and I don't really have to water these that much because they stay pretty wet. Um, unlike a regular pot that where you have to water it constantly. So this is also a great option if you, you can't buy any raised beds or make any. Um, this is a great way to give yourself some extra space. Or if you're limited to space, this is also a great option. Let's see, It's called Root Pouch. Right, so I showed you some of my raised beds and now I want to show you another option which is the good old type of bed which is in the ground. And this is another option for you guys if you're not able to have raised beds and you are only able to work with this native soil that you have. That's fine. As you can see, I'm able to make it work and despite the challenges that this soil, clay, heavy, heavy clay soil has given me, I'm able to grow things. And so uh, what I did with this part of my garden is I just fenced it off. And fencing off an area is great if you have pets like I do so they don't come in here and, and pee and poop. But fencing it off also gives you a perimeter of where you need to plant and it also makes it look a little bit neater and so what I did with this with this dirt and how I was able to finally plant in this area is I put down a couple of bags of manure this is the aged steer manure that you can get from your local Home Depot or Lowe's um, it's in a yellow bag and it only costs a dollar a piece a dollar per bag and so what I did was I laid down the manure before it started raining a couple of months ago and I let the worms and the rain push the manure down into the soil and the worms are currently um, decomposing the manure so why not have some pots as well you know look at look at how small this uh, strawberry uh, pot is but I'm able to fit a ton of strawberry plants in here I mean you could fit this on an apartment balcony if you if you wanted to even garlic you know these pots are not that big they're only about one foot in diameter all right so I did want to show you another option which I always forget about this guy um, is a whiskey barrel option I consider this a raised bed because this gives me a ton of growing space I have parsnips in here I have a bell pepper right over there I have a geranium and I even have some mint and I have some space right there in the middle if I wanted to put some more vegetables or flowers in there. All right, so now that I've showed you everything back here in my cottage garden, I'm gonna go and walk over to the side garden and show you guys 
the types of raised beds I have over there. So now that I'm here in the side garden, I will show you guys what kind of different types of raised beds I have here. So I do have another one of these raised bed planters that we got from Sam's Club, the really deep one. It's self-watering. And this one is perfect for this space. As you can see, I have like a little, it's not big enough to put another raised bed, but it's big enough to fit a planter like this size. This bed has given me a lot of good vegetables. So I love that. So another type of raised bed I have in my garden are these wooden beds, which are about, I would say eight or nine inches in, in length. And they are secured together by these screws right here. And I actually brought these over from my community garden that I used to belong to. And these were free. Somebody was getting rid of these and I swooped them up and I, and I took them. I would say maybe four feet. I would call that four feet by four feet by four by four. So 16 square feet. If I'm not correct, somebody correct me. I like this size raised bed because I'm able to put things deep enough in here to where the plants can develop a nice root system. And so what we did is we just, I don't know if you guys can see that, we put some weed barrier down at the bottom. We didn't even dig the grass over. We just put this on top and we, I, as you can see, I have no problem with weeds. These, are, these beds are uh, pretty much weed free. So I have the same type of bed here and here. And as you can see, this one is a, we've, got, we've been getting some really, really intense rains. So this one is kind of starting to fall apart. We're going to have to fix that pretty soon. Nothing that a couple of screws won't be able to do. So these are the two newer beds. The ones that require no tools that we got from Sam's Club. And I really, I really, really like these. I like the way they look. I like this little pattern here and like I said I assembled these myself no tools required it's so so easy all I did was just I put some this weed barrier down landscape fabric and then I put cardboard on top and then I put my compost and my soil but the plants you wouldn't think that the plants would have enough uh, room for the roots but it looks like these plants are pretty happy to me, so it, it's plenty of room. So over here in this corner of my yard, I converted a bare patch of soil, and all I did was I just used bricks uh, to separate it. Curly over there in the corner. <laughs> Alright you guys, so that is going to be it for this raised bed info slash tour. I just wanted to show you guys what kind of raised beds that I have because there is a viewer or subscriber um, that asked me a couple of videos, videos ago. This is for you and for all of the other viewers that are wondering what kind of raised beds it is that I have. If you have any other questions on what I put in my raised beds, I can definitely answer those questions. Go ahead, leave me any questions or comments down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for each and every one of you that has subscribed. I'm super happy to see my channel grow. Hope you guys have a great day or a great night. Thank you all for watching. Happy gardening. Bye.